Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Typeform with MailChimp. First things first, we have to create ourselves an account at typeform.com or log into our existing account. Once we are at our workspace, let's go to the top corner of our screen and click on connect. There's a couple of, couple of apps that we want or we can integrate straight through Type 4. One of them is MailChimp. Once we click on connect, we'll be able to log in to MailChimp account and basically finish your integration there. We can also use automate.io. I will leave the link in the description underneath this video. And yeah, once we're in here, let's go to the top corner of our screen for integrations and go to the bottom left part and see all categories. Now we can pick the app integra uh, in app integrations window, the first app that we want to integrate. In our case, it's Typeform. Once we're in here at Typeform, we want to pick its counterpart, which will be MailChimp. Straight away, we have a couple of options for integrations as popular integrations, already pre-made by Automate. But if you won't be able to find the one that you are looking for, keep scrolling down so you can create your own integration. Just remember, on the left part underneath the triggers, you want to start with Typeform. On the opposite side, underneath the actions, you want to go with the MailChimp. There's uh, tons of options for you, so feel free to pick the one that you need, but I'm going with the first one just to show you. Now we click on Try It Now button, we get redirected to sign up page. So all we have to do now is to log in or register our account and we are good to go. We can also use Zapier.com, which is a quite similar uh, app to Automate, or they're basically, um, yeah, there's a few differences, but it works the same. Once we create the account here, let's go to the top left corner and click on create a Zap. At first, uh, we have to create ourselves a trigger or the trigger app. Same as at automate, let's go with the type form. Trigger event is new entry, continue. Now we have to log in to our type form account, continue. And now set up a trigger form will be the project that you are working on. For example, in my case, it's type form test. And now we can test our trigger between type form and Zapier itself. On the second action, we want to go with the MailChimp. We also have to manually pick an event. So let's go with the first one, continue. And the last thing we have to log in to our MailChimp account. And that's about it. So thanks for watching and see you on the next video.